I am actually going to do an Adobe Premiere Pro video. Uh, just a really, really basic, learn the layout just so you know where stuff is. Uh, I will have more Flash videos up, so don't worry about that, because that seems to be what you guys love the most. And also more video game tutorials, like more add-ons like I've been doing. And if you guys have any kind of codes for the Flash video game, just just send it to um, email, uh, no, message me on my channel. Not, not you know, in my inbox. You, you guys know how to do that. Message it to me, and I can make it a tutorial. Obviously, I'll give you guys credit and everything. So, do that if you know any codes that I don't. Anyways, back to Premiere Pro. Uh, whenever you open it up, and you click on New Project, you'll come to this. And this, you don't need to screw around with this. You don't need to screw around with this. Both these are at, like, a basic format, which is what you need. Name, you can name it whatever. I'll just name it Untitled, click OK. Then when you get to this, for sequence, uh, the sequence name, you can name it. <coughs> I never name it. You don't need to. And uh, for this, here are the presets of what kind of format you videotaped it on. So if you click on this, like go to HD, click on that. It shows you the general information for the video settings, audio settings, default sequence, so you can find the right one for you. Once you find that, click OK, and then this should open up. Now, you got File, Edit, Project, Clip, Sequence, Marker, Title, Window, Help. Click on File. You got New for a new project, a new sequence, all of that, new title. You got Open Project, Open Recent Project. Uh, browse in Bridge, if you have Bridge. Close, Save. Uh, save uh, save a copy, capture, import, import recent files, export, and exit. Edit, you know, you got everything, like what's in every edit pretty much. Uh, project for your project settings, clip, sequence. You'll be using sequence a lot for rendering the work area, uh, rendering effects, rendering the entire work area, rendering audio. You'll have to render a lot. Title to make a title. Marker, I really don't use marker. Window for what you want to be shown on the screen and help. Now I'm just going to go to file and I'm going to open up a project. Uh, computer building. I just pieced this together just so you know I could show you guys more stuff with this. Now you got this right over here. This is like your sequence window that has all the videos on it. Where Now how do you get to that? You go to file import then you click on videos find your video footage let's click on that click open it imports it directly to there and then there it is right there that's how you get that to there then you can drag that right onto the timeline like that I'm gonna get rid of that right now cuz I don't need that now once you have it on like these are on you want to go to sequence and then click render entire work area so that these bars are green Whenever you put it in, the bar should be yellow. If you took it from After Effects, the bar should be red. You render it, changes the bars to green. That means it's fully rendered, so it moves smoothly. Now, you obviously, you have these gaps in between. You click Ripple Delete. It makes them come together. But we don't want them to come together right now because we're going to want to edit them. Um, over here, this is... This is the preview, so you can see what you're looking at, obviously. There we go. You can fit 10%, 100%. I just need fit. My computer's being really laggy. Wait one second. Okay, sorry. Um right here obviously this wasn't black a second ago but that's because I just had uh, it was a glitch but anyways yours won't be black obviously um, but back to this this shows what's on the timeline obviously and to edit here's some tools up here you have this a track selector ripple edit uh, rolling edit rates uh, rate stretch tool razor tool Slip, slide, pen, hand, zoom. 
selection tool. The main tools you'll be using over and over again is selection tool and razor tool. Razor tool, you can cut it where you want. Say I want to cut it right there. Click cut. Then you click on the selection. Click on that. And if I click backspace, it deletes it. So I deleted what I didn't want in the film, and then this still stays in. <coughs> um, then for this one, say I want to cut it right there. I do the same thing. I cut it. Go to selection tool. Click on that and delete it. Now, if I right click here, it says ripple delete. And I click on ripple delete. It brings the two videos right next to each other. Uh, another thing that is that once, um, say you don't want the volume in it, if you highlight it, right click. Uh, well, you need to highlight one at a time. Right click and click on unlink. It will unlink the volume from the video. So I can take away the volume. See, there's the volume over there. I can delete the volume if I want. You can do that with all of them. Unlink. I can move the video away from the volume or delete the video, but I'm not going to. Delete the volume. Unlink. Delete the volume. Unlink. Just so I get rid of the volume for all of this, say you um, had volume from something else you want, you don't want the volume on the raw footage, that's how you get rid of that. Click ripple delete, bring all the videos together. It's there, click play. It then plays the video. So now that's too long, you want to cut that, say. Uh, but you want to cut it at a certain point. Right here, let's use zoom in. So say. I want it cut right there. Go like that. Cut that out. Do the ripple delete. So now it's like this. So yeah, that's that. Also, over here, um, right over here, for effects, info, media browser, history. I'm using effects a lot because that has video transitions, audio transitions, video effects, presets, and <coughs> um, audio effects. Let's just go to video transitions. You know, you can screw around with this, see what everything has. I'm just going to go to video transitions, go to dissolve, cross dissolve right there. Um, dip to black right there. Now, as you see here, they're red instead of green right there and there. Just gotta go on sequence and click render effects and work area, and then it renders it. And now it's green, so it can play right through. And there's the cross dissolve. And here comes the dip to black. So that's just the basics. I mean, now you know where everything is. You know how to use it. Uh, if you want me to go into a more detailed uh, video, comment. Say you what you want to know, what I didn't say. And if you want any other kind of recommendations, because I have... Um, I don't know, just whatever. If you have any kind of other recommendations, go ahead, uh, message me, and then I will try to make that video. So, yeah, see you next time.